This is Zorro, he's a black mini rex, which is a breed of rabbit. They're supposed to be really, really soft. We've been coming here for maybe a year and a half. Yeah, she um, started agility about a year ago and she's a blue band bunny right now. Ah, uh, Amber, how long have we been coming to these classes? She's four, four years old. She's been doing agility for well, three years, good, good three years, if not more. Just maybe two months. I have been coming here since I think 2008. So was that five years, five, six years, somewhere in there? Mm, I don't know, five years, maybe more. As long as I've, it's been here, as far as I know. Harvey's been doing agility for for several years, and he he loves it. I think that's his favorite thing to do in life is agility. If I just run him through the course one time, from then on, um, he knows it, and I'm literally kind of running after him. And I call him my little Olympian because he loves agility and he's really good at it. Okay, pop, pop, pop. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Look. Jump. Jump. Good jump, Harvey. Tell your jump. Good. What a jump. Up. The Minnesota Companion Rabbit Society is the local rabbit rescue. We work with area shelters like Animal Humane Society where we are today by helping educate and find homes for homeless rabbits throughout the area. A lot of people have gone to the state fair and seen 4-H do rabbit agility and it was through the 4-H program they were able to develop our own program. The, the purpose is to help you bond with your rabbit and we open it to people of all ages. It's really just a way to spend time with your rabbit to bond with them because what do rabbits like to do? Hop, jump and play. One thing the public doesn't always know, they are very smart and you'll see in working with agility here, um, these rabbits can learn all of this just like dogs. The course in the back room that you saw for rabbit agility is a small horse course. Uh, looks like a horse course and acts like one. The method for teaching them, they are pressure release animals, just like horses. So if you apply pressure, they move away from it. And that's how we teach the horse. Horses and rabbits are very similar. Rabbits are small horses. Um, physiologically, um, they eat the same foods, they have the same digestive systems, they have the same tendency for the same illnesses. Okay. They're both prey animals, um, their eyes work the same, their ears work the same, and they think the same. Yeah. I think what I like most about it is the fact that Zorro has so much fun. He's been, at first when I got him, he was like a horrible rabbit, like he was biting, he was scratching, and then once we started coming here, I learned a lot from everyone else, and now Zorro's a good little rabbit for most of the time. Well, he had his picture in the paper um, a couple years ago for doing agility, so he's been in the Star Tribune, and, and he's a very um, accomplished agility bun. He likes, it's his favorite thing to do, so. No, he, he only won, the only award he's ever won is for his Halloween costume at Halloween Happy Hour when he dressed up as a submarine. When I groom him, I, I save his, uh, in, in baggies, um, I save his fur and um, for spinning because I also enjoy spinning and um, I don't have quite enough yet through the years gathered to do like a scarf but I will eventually. Um, his fur is about half the length of an angora. Angoras are really well known for saving fur and spinning but you can get good fur off of the Jersey Woolies also. She's actually also a therapy rabbit. She's been doing that for three years. She works with um, senior citizens, and she also, that's one of her things she does. And she, her main thing she is, 
works with his children reading skills. She loves hearing a good story from children to read to her. They found out that children reading to an animal is um, not stressful to them. It's much calmer. They get through the book better and read better and stuff. And Honey loves a good story. She doesn't really have a favorite. We go to the library a lot, so we pick out different books all the time. So she can see, read seasonal books or hear seasonal books and stuff. She did have a couple of favorites she used to chew on. <laughs> so I don't know if that were her favorites or not. One was the Three Little Pigs. Yeah, it was a tastiest. That one, she ate the whole thing up almost. All the binding came off. It was a little cardboard board book, so it was, it was chewable for her. She loves seeking out people. She loves little people. Little kids are her favorite thing in the world. She's in doing the agility here. She sees little people coming. She'll stop in the middle of the course and like, little people, gotta go see. So I always say, when you're done, you can go see little people. That's kind of like her reward to have little people pet her. Meet Esther. Esther is a tribute to working with disabilities. Esther doesn't know she has a disability. She has a wonderful life and she's a sweet soul. She is what happens when breeders inbreed. When they breed parents to children and siblings to siblings, you get this. And she was born this way. But she does not know she's disabled. She is registered for therapy. She works at the hospital, loves people. She's our ambassador rabbit. We take her to all the events and the pet expos. She is a tribute to what they can be. Her arms are on upside down. Both of her hips are splayed to the side. One of them is laid completely over and she doesn't care. I, there's two more of them, but they're at home. They're more disabled than she is. They're, they're flat on the floor with their legs straight up. This is Moosley. Um, it's a German cereal, and so I just named him after that. We named him after Baz Rutten, uh, the MMA fighter. Uh, somehow I found out he also has house rabbits, so we nicknamed him Baz. Unfortunately, he's kind of cowardy. Well, Domino is a dwarf hoto rabbit, we think. Let's get a good shot of her little face yeah, She's here. a dwarf rabbit, so she's fully grown. She's almost uh, two years old. This is Dove, she's, because she's chocolate like a Dove chocolate bar. Um, I have Gracie here with me today, and Reese is with me. Charlotte, Daisy, Bun Bun, Freda, Furby, and Midnight. Esther. Hawk and Angelique, they are my disabled babies. I have Lenny and Tika, Alexander and Rayelta, Fawn, Cheddar, and Eclipse. And I think that's everybody. So I, I need them, I need, I need 10 rabbits. There's no gravity that sucked me in your orbit. There's no magnet that was in your heart. One restriction was a friction that was keeping us a little too far apart. Well, why I fight it? I was secretly delighted. I gave chase and then I let you win. You felt lovely when you loved me like a fool, but now I can't let go of your skin. You know that I never knew that you are crazy glue, my darling. Now I'm stuck to you, but I'm cozy and I don't want to wiggle loose. You're honey like a finger in the beehive. The bees are buzzing in a tizzy fit. And they're stinging, but I'm singing like a fool, cause you're as sweet as a banana split. You're sticky like a hippie in the summer. You're like syrup in the slushy tray. I'll touch you and I will never leave Cause I believe I can't get away 